Hello and welcome to Generation Auto, a web series presented by Crevier Classic Cars. And today I'm here to feature a very rare BMW, a 1965, the first of its kind to wear the CS emblem on the back of the car. But that isn't the emblem that makes it so rare. It's the one that says Bertoni on the side of the vehicle. Yes, you heard me right. This ultimate driving machine has its roots originating in Italy. It is more magnificent than what you told me about on the phone. This blue paint just is phenomenal. I see a Bertoni emblem here. Is this an Italian BMW? Is that, that's it is. It, it really is. The body was designed and built by Bertoni in Italy. And the car is largely hand-built. Of course, it's all, all BMW mechanicals. And almost immediately, you can tell that it's not your regular BMW. You definitely see the influence of the Italian design, particularly up in the grille. That explains why, when I looked at the car, it felt very Alfa Romeo-ish from the front end. Yeah, there's definitely certain cues that you can pick up on that let you know it's an Italian design car, and that's definitely one of them. The grille lends itself a very Italian look. When I think of an Italian body, I think hand-built. Hand-built car? Hand-built car. Wow. Must be rare. Very rare. Uh, you know, they built them over a four-year period, 603 in total. There's believed to be less than 50 that survived today. This must have been their flagship. I mean, like today's 7 Series, or, or is it more like a Z8 kind it's of It's actually car? more special than a 7 would be. It would be something similar to like a Z8. You know, a limited production, a rare piece, uh, kind of like a halo car. If I was to get this car, I would be attracted to the fact that it's the last year of the model run. Yeah, it is the last year of the model run, and it's one of less than around 50 that survived wow. today. Of 603 original, so it's very, very rare. The other thing I noticed about the namesake itself, the moniker, besides BMW, is it's a CS. And that's a very famous moniker for BMW. Sure. But wasn't this the first CS of, for BMW? Yes, it was the first CS. The BMW line, the CS, represented a car that was a grand touring coupe something that was both luxurious, sporty, fast, the complete package. Definitely very collectible. You don't see these come to market very often just because they're, they were a very exclusive club to begin with and they're even more exclusive today. Some of the design cues from this Italian design, did they carry forward into the BMW line? They did. Almost across the entire model line of BMWs that followed it, you can pick up certain things. You know, even like the taillights on this car, uh, you know, went on to become the taillights on the 2002. 2002. Yeah. yeah, I do see that now, now that you mention it. This greenhouse surrounding this interior, which is a gorgeous interior color combination. Beige yeah, interior. it's a beautiful color combination, especially the dark blue with the uh, medium tan hides and of course the blue piping. What special features were part of this interior? Well, it's truly one of my favorite parts of the car and it's certainly the best place to be, the driver's seat. There's so much greenhouse, which gives you excellent visibility at, at every angle. So the interior is very luxurious. They used a very special high quality height of leather, wool carpeting, piped the uh, leather in, in blue, hand rubbed and polished wood dash. And uh, one of the things that makes this particular uh, example even rarer is the fact that it was equipped when new with the uh, electric, electric sunroof. Sun so it really makes this car as rare as it is, even more rare. It and does. It's an option. The cars basically started around $7,500, which was a tall number to begin with in 75. And there were certain options that, you know, allowed it to be a little bit more expensive than that, but certainly an exclusive club. So it was uh, the ultimate driving machine even then. Truly the ultimate driving machine. Talk to me about the mechanics of the car. I know it's had a full restoration. Does that include the engine as well? Full mechanical, everything, nut and bolt, totally gone through and set up just the way it was uh, back in the day to be an excellent grand touring car. A car this rare, this special, I would want somebody to restore it who really knows this kind of car. Well, you don't have any history on the restorer. Absolutely. You know, a car like this requires somebody that's knowledgeable and has expertise in yeah. the BMW field. And this particular car was restored by the experts at the workshop in Illinois. The owner of the company discovered the car at another restoration facility in Sacramento uh, California and recognized immediately what, what it, it was. was. He bought the car, brought it back to his restoration shop, and over a three and a half year period, uh, starting in 96, they restored the car. Every nut and bolt was attended to. Full mechanical restoration, full cosmetic and interior restoration, full chassis restoration, uh, so that the car is something that can uh, be driven at any time, at any length. Well, that would make me feel very comfortable that a BMW restorer yes, exactly. took the care and effort over two years to do this car. So what size engine do we have in here? 
It's a 3.2 liter V8, produces 160 horsepower. Mm -hmm. and I can tell it's been restored as well. Very smooth running car. Wow. This from the, the 507, 503 line of cars? Yeah, exactly. Carry forward from the 50s? Wow. And chassis? It's a double wishbone independent front suspension with disc brakes from the factory. So that really truly lends itself to being a great grand touring car and that's what it was set up to be. Disc brakes, 1965, wow. So it must still ride good today. Oh, by today's standards, it rides and handles better than cars built today in certain cases. 